right, everybody, welcome back to another product review here at the Inshore Journal. We appreciate everybody tuning in with us again. And tonight we are going to talk about one of the most important things when you're talking fishing. And that's your sunglasses, your eye protection. That's going to help you, you know, see through the water and see what we're uh, doing when we're sight fishing for these, uh, especially red drum out there, you know. Uh, but let's get into it, man. We got some uh, variety of different glasses here, here and we're going to try to uh, walk, walk our way through everything and uh, see what we're looking at. Yeah, just like uh, Will just said, um, these these glasses mean so much on the flats and every, there's a, there's a, a lens for every situation inshore and actually any kind of fishing, whether you're fishing in the mountain streams or you're fishing on a lake. Absolutely. You got a lot of glare and no uh, shade anywhere. There's, you know, you're going to wear a different lens for that as opposed to looking at, you know, redfish and real clear water, or even tannic water. You're going to mm -hmm. use a different color lens. It's going to make that, those tails pop on those redfish when we're looking for them. You know, they've got. Absolutely you know, a lit up, what we call a lit up tail with a purple yep. tail a lot of times when they've been feeding. And um, that's a lot of times the one thing you're going to see in the water. It'll illuminate before anything else. Yep. And that's sometimes the only thing you see if you've got tannic water and you've got those copper lenses or an amber lens where it just makes that tail pop, you know, in that darker water. Yep. Um, so, you know, a lot of people, you know, go fishing on my boat and they can't see the fish. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, they do have sunglasses on, but they do not have polarized lenses. That makes all the difference in the world. you got to have those. Absolutely. And it's not that people think that polarized lenses means they're magical. You know, you can magically see fish. The only thing that's magical about polarized is it cuts the glare on the top, the surface of the water. Right. Because when the sun's out, there's a glare on the water, a reflection just like a mirror. And what these glasses do is... These glasses, you know, these Costa Del Mars, especially like I wear and like you wear a lot, um, you know, they they have their science behind these lenses. You know, they've made these polarized lenses um, just, you know, they've perfected these lenses for each fishing situation. Absolutely. So we're going to go over a couple of them right now. And um, I'm partial to the Coastal Del Mars. I know you like the Smith glasses as well as the Coastal Del Mars. There's a lot of good brands out there. Um, yeah, those are two brands that I, that I certainly like. I've um, got another brand here, Revo, which um, we'll take a look at those here in a little bit as well. There's a lot of good sunglasses brands out there. I would say the biggest thing is when you're looking at sunglasses is get the ones that feel good to you and that you're going to actually wear. Because if you get some that are sliding around your face or down your nose, if you get some sweat on you or whatever, and, and you end up not not wanting to wear them, that's going to mess up your fish, fishing experience right away. So first and foremost, get some that fit. Yeah. And then we start looking at some of the um, the added details um, that each one of these brands uh, is able to bring forward, um, put on the table, and, and uh, then start looking at the different lenses that we have for different fishing situations, different light situations, that type of thing. So a lot of stuff out there. It's just a matter of picking out what's going to work for you. That's right. And, you know, God made every one of us different. Our face, our bones in our face are so much different. Our nose, you know, you like you said, man, it's, it's very important to put these things on just you know don't, you don't just look at them online and order sunglasses yeah it's not going to work go to a local shop that has a good selection of the sunglasses that you like and put them on and yep. you'll find out what fits your face the best and take them outside most most of the our local shops in the wilmington area will let you walk outside with them oh yeah and that way you can see if there's any glare coming in from the um you know, the, the side of the sunglasses, you know, where you've got the arms. So, yep. you know, we've got several different pairs here that are set out and they've, they've got different lenses. You know, the, 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 the first pair that I like to use a lot in low light conditions and on the flats, um, are the copper lenses with the, uh, the mirror, the silver mirror, which actually yep. the silver mirror, um, reflects a lot of that sunlight. So you don't have as much um, eye fatigue as you would uh, with a normal amber or copper lens. Those right. those type lenses are very light compared to your gray mirror or gray um, lenses like you wear when you're driving your car. So, um, you know, I always carry two pairs with me. When it gets really bright after about three or four hours on the flats when the 
sun gets high overhead. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll switch over to my gray, my uh, gray lenses, mm -hmm. which are these, uh, this particular model. Those are the yep. Jose's. I'm trying to hold these things up, guys. I'm not sure how well this is going to um, come across on the camera here, but hopefully you can kind of see a little bit of the difference of the, of the lenses on the camera. And these particular glasses that I'm, that, that Will has just held up, that's, that's the Jose, um, uh, model of Costa del Mars, and I always wear the glass. The I I use glass lenses. They are heavier, and um, you know a lot of people don't like that extra weight. But I'll tell you, as a guide and a tournament fisherman, I don't take the time to clean these glasses like you really should with a cleaning cloth and maybe some you know uh, spray or one of those alcohol wipes. I'll just take yeah. salt will be caked on them, and I'll just rub them with my shirt and clean them. You know because mm -hmm time is of the essence especially if i see a fish coming my way and i'm in a tournament i've set up i'm not going to take the time to go and clean them like i'm supposed to and yep. on a plastic lens that will scratch the, the crap out of them it will it will absolutely and that's one i've got um another pair of costas here that are the plastic lenses these these are the 580ps um and i actually got these more for for just casual casual use because as you can see when i hold it up they don't wrap around as much, so they do let quite a bit of light in on the side. So they're more for, um, I use them more for casual use, but, but um, you know, I did want to show them here just so you guys could, could kind of see another, just another pair, really. But What we're going to do, too, is I've got a scale here that we're going to weigh these glass, show you the difference in weight. And that does make a difference, having those glass lenses over the plastic lenses like Will's holding up. I recommend if you're going to wear these glass lenses, even the plastic lenses, we're, you, we're on fast flats boats and bay boats. If you turn your head, those glasses are They'll gone. They'll go flying. So what I recommend is using, I've got Costa Keepers on my glasses, and what I'll do is I'll put them on my head, and then I'll adjust the strap, pull them up, and tighten them to the back of my head so they don't fly off. It is kind of a, a pain in the neck to get used to, but I've been wearing them like that for over 10 or 12 years now, and after I lost my four, four, you know, fourth or fifth pair of these sunglasses at, you know, 150 to yeah. 200 bucks a pop. I mean, I learned about, you know, I'm, I'm a slow learner sometimes, but, <laughs> um, you know, that doesn't, that, that money adds up quick. Uh, They're not cheap. not cheap. You're not paying, um, you know, a $30 pair of sunglasses, you're getting what you pay for. Yeah. Um, so you do put a little bit more money up front for some of these sunglasses. However, you know, the benefit that you're going to have in the long run will definitely outweigh that, that, that cost that you're putting in up front. So just keep that in mind, guys. And like Rennie says, you know, secure them. I don't have them on the, um, the straps on these right now just because I um, haven't used them to fish in a little while. But, but like you said, every time I'm on the boat, I'm putting a, putting a, a keeper on the back as well just to, just to be on the safe side because whether they're going to fly off on the boat or you lean over to grab a fish out of the water and they fall off your head, it's going to happen at some at some point. So just be on the safe side. But let's um yeah, let's put them on the scale here. Now way you give guys get a little bit of better of an idea of the different weights between um well these these two glass models that we have here as well as um some of the plastic lens models as well cuz there is a pretty significant weight difference in these. Uh, but again, you know, you just kind of have to weigh out um you know what you're using it for and, and what's going to hold up a little bit better for you durability versus comfort yeah you know and and that's the difference in the glass you know lenses these are 580g mm -hmm. costa del mars the ones that will has over here five 580p which means plastic right the g is for glass p is for plastic so these these shades are going to be quite i mean you can you can tell a big difference picking this pair of shades up as opposed to picking this pair of shades up absolutely obviously they're set they're different frames totally different plastic so this is not like taking a black fin model of costas and putting it up against a plastic right. lens um model of the costas but it's going to give you a good idea give you a bit of, of weight an idea difference. yeah absolutely so i'm gonna put the first um pair of glasses on the scale these are the costa del mar uh black fin 580g the glass lenses and they are 51 grams Okay. What I want to do is let's let's use it, let's just give a an example of the difference in the glass. It's going to be significant. Go ahead and throw those on there. So what we say, fifty one grams. Fifty one grams glass. for the glass. 
That's 28 grams yep. for those plastic lenses. So you're looking at about, about almost half, half. About, almost half the weight. Um, and you can certainly feel the difference in them when they're on your face if you're going to be wearing them all day. Like I said, I got these primarily for casual wear, um, you know, just to be 100% honest with everybody. But, you know, you certainly can get them for boat wear. They're just not going to hold up quite as good usually as those yeah. glass lenses would. But there's, you're trading off that, that weight you know, for the durability. durability. So you got to figure out kind of what's more important to you as well as the price tag on them because they're about, a, you know, 75 or 100 buck difference in price too on those. Yeah, glass is much more expensive. Yeah. So, you know, this this pair of black fins has got, a, you can visually see how much bigger these the, the lens is in these than any of them really at the table besides those Revos. Yeah. Um, so I did a, a comparison by putting this pair of um, Jose's Costa Del Mar Jose models on yep. the scale. And they're 46 grams. So they're a little bit lighter, like me you and I bit. were discussing earlier. Yep. Those are the ones I wear all, almost all the time. Like when I'm driving, I love these gray lenses. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the day, offshore, I like them. Um, so, you know, you do have a little bit of difference. They're a little bit lighter than those black fins, but those black fins are actually, they pretty much wrap on your face. and They're keeping you know, out the, pretty much all the light that, yeah. that has the chance to come in. All those. Yeah, even the the uh, sides of these glasses are very wide, just like those Revos you've got there. Yeah, let me hold these up, too, because these Revos are, are plastic lens as well. These are the Revo. Um, the model on this is a Guide 2. Um, and they're, so they're specifically made for fishing, and they have actually the little keeper hole in the back right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right in the back of the arm there, um, which you can, I guess, you know, feed – Snap feed, swivel. Yeah, the snap <laughs> swivel through there or whatever. But um, they do wrap around quite a bit, and uh, they are pretty light. I will say, though, that th since they are the plastic lenses, they do scratch. And from a price point, they're almost as much, if not more, than a lot of these coastal frames. So um, mm. I like the glasses. They have a slight mirror tint to them, but they're pretty much just that smoke gray. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just a real slight mirror on them. Um, they do them pretty good for pretty versatile versatile frames. Let's throw them on there. I don't see how much they are, though, and yeah. I'm, I'm curious about it now. Almost the same weight, 29 yeah. grams as your Costas. Yeah, so these, yeah, and these are these are the frame between these two. There's a pretty big difference in the frame they're significantly bigger glasses as far as what the frame is and the lenses so i mean they're super light and um but they do scratch up so <laughs> yeah just keep it in mind again like we were talking plastic. about you know um they're plastic and um you're gonna get what you pay for on those as far as durability so you know i kind of i'm kind of in the same boat here with rennie you know those i think those costas are, are probably in my opinion, the best bang for your buck, you know, as far as the ones we have here. And, um, you know, I certainly, uh, uh, they've certainly worked for you over the years. Oh yeah. yeah. I've, I'm very partial to them. I've, I've used coasters for a while and they've helped me out, you know, over the years and, um, you know, partnered with me in my guide business. So I, I really can't complain with anything to do with Costa Del Mar. I'll tell you the best customer service I've ever had on any sunglasses, you know, when I was growing up and wanted to be the cool guy, I was wearing the you know, Ray Bans like everybody else was. Yeah. Um, and the customer service wasn't nearly as good as what Coast is. I yeah. mean, I've I've dropped my Coast to Del Mars on a. I was fishing a tournament one time, a charity tournament over at Wrightsville Beach, and I um I went to take a shirt off in the bathroom like I was changing, you know, because mm -hmm. it had gotten warmer and we were having a award ceremony at the. Um, Cape Fear Red Trout, which is one of the Red Bone Series tournaments we used to have here in, in uh, town. Uh -huh. And we actually had, you know, my my group had won pretty much every category in, in the tournament. So I wanted to make sure I had clean clothes on for pictures and that sort of thing. So yeah. I didn't even think about it, man. I had my, my coasters around my neck. And, I mean, it was the first day I'd worn a brand new pair like this. <laughs> That's the worst. Huh? Um, and I forgot I had them on. It got caught in the shirt, man. And when I went to take it off, they they landed straight down on a tile floor mm. and and shattered. Yeah. And man, I was so upset. And I called Costa the next week, man, and and they said just send them in and we'll take a look at them. And I I told them exactly what happened. They sent me a brand new pair. Wow. I didn't pay one dime out of my wow. pocket. That's and, great customer service. And I'll tell you another thing. I mean, if you have any kind of problems, like any kind of defect, 
from the factory or not even from the factory. I've I've had wear and tear on my sunglasses, and at the most mm -hmm. uh, the most I've ever paid was fifty dollars to have either lenses replaced that were scratched or you know just worn out glasses because yeah. over time man you wear them for three or four years with salt and brine and everything else fish everything gets on those rubber pieces yeah. including the sunscreen sunscreen will break down about anything yeah yeah uh, especially those rubber pieces that make it you know the ear pieces more um comfortable yep those will start breaking down and coming off but i've had them replace those things for me i mean i've just had great customer service with my customers. that's excellent that's a good testimonial right there folks so um you know, like we said before, though, regardless of what brand it is, you know, we we have a few that we're partial to. But first and foremost, go out there and find some that, that fits you. And the good thing about it is, especially with the Costas and the Smiths and the Revos, probably, you know, a lot of these brands have so many different frames out there right now that, you know, it's just a matter of going and, and trying them on and figuring out which one is going to work. So, you know, if you like the Costa brand, you like the you like the warranty that they have, Go try them on. It, one of these models that we have right here might not be what's going to fit you good, but you, they all the frame select or I'm sorry, all the all the lens selections will pretty much come in all the different frame models. So finding the frame that's going to fit for you, and then you can start adding that that lens selection in based on what your needs are. You know, another thing I want to throw out there is every, you know, some of the some of our listeners I'm sure are wearing glasses, and um, you know. They have to have prescription sunglasses. Yep. Costa Del Mar has C mates. It's the the letter C and then mates is what okay. the models are called. And those are actually made for people that need uh, prescription sunglasses. Good deal. So it's it, it allows you to wear an outdoor sunglass like a Costa Del Mar that's made for the outdoors and for fishing. Um, and also give you, you know, a prescription model right. so you can wear that any, any, any style that they have on their website, you can get with those prescriptions. Good deal. So, and I would Very say good. there's, there's more out there too, you know, just go to the websites of any brand that you like and just make sure first and foremost that they are polarized. That is the biggest thing. You got to have the polarized for Absolutely. fishing. Yep. So, Absolutely. well, I guess, you know, I think we've covered about everything we can will with the sunglasses yeah, if and, anybody has any questions or anything like that, then, you know, by all means, hit us up online or on our uh, our website is theinshorejournal.com. Um, the audio version of this, as always, is on our uh, different podcast channels, whichever one you prefer to use. So, um, you know, be sure to uh, take a look at these. And if you have any questions, hit us up. We'll try to help you out and answer anything we can. We're certainly not experts in these, but we have a lot of experience in using some different models. So we're just trying to give you guys some opinions and just, uh, you know, and just doing a side-by-side -side comparison as far as the weight purpose goes or the weights go, just because that, that is a big thing to take into consideration when you're looking at them. So Absolutely. I think that's about it. We appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, until, until next time, this is the Inshore Journal. And look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.